Hi everybody, it's Jeff from Pure Yoga TV. Hope you like this channel, hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, ring the bell for our latest uploads, latest videos. And if you want to support this channel, go to pureyogatv.com forward slash patron. And you can also enjoy a 10 day free trial membership to our on demand and live stream platform. We've got content for all levels, whether you're a beginner or advanced in original hot yoga, vinyasa yoga, yoga head fusion, infernal hot pilates, all kinds of fitness routines. Whether you're building a practice at home or looking to just get fit really fast, we've got what you need. See you on the mat. Hi guys, my name is Monica. I'm Carolina. And today we are going to do a 15 minutes workout for your legs and the glutes. Yes, we're gonna get nice and strong for this class, only 15 minutes, using Tabata style, 45 seconds on and 15 second rests. Let's do it, get ready. Okay guys, uh, we are going to do a start with frog squats. So open your legs a little wider than the hips, tips, turn your toes out, double face, go all the way up, come up halfway, and then come up completely set, go. Exhale when you come up, squeeze the glutes, come up only halfway. Keep a neutral spine here, shoulders away from the ears, drop your hips as low as you can, keeping the neutral spine. Oh yes, can you feel those glutes starting? Working here, Ooh, guys. Feels amazing. Very nice, Carolina. How do you feel Love today? It. I feel strong already. Those quads burning up. Yes. Awesome. That's the way. Ooh. Almost there, only 45 seconds here of working hard, and then we'll move to the next round. Change. All right, guys, let's take it to back lunges, starting with your right leg out, bring it in, left leg out, and bring it in. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Step back, bring it forward, oh. lunge back, and bring it forward. Make sure you keep that belly nice and tight, head and chest looking straight ahead. Yes, and you inhale down, exhale, bring it in the middle. Whew. Awesome, awesome. This is such a great way to work those glutes. Yes, back lunges, amazing. Step back. Love it already. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys, less than 10 seconds. Keep going, keep at it. And change. Oh. The next one, we're going to do a regular squat. So your feet a little wider than hips slightly, toes facing forward, you squat low, and when you come up, kick up. You can kick and punch at the same time, like go low and punch, alternating legs. Set, go, let's do it. Find your tempo. Squeeze the, glutes, squeeze the glutes from the side when you come up. You can add the punch or not. Opposite hand, kick it. Kick high, drop your hips low. Keep your toes facing forward and find your tempo. Belly nice and tight, shoulders away from the ears always. We are more than halfway already. Yes, that's the way. Keep looking forward. Ooh. Keep those abdominal muscles engaged. Everything. Nice and tight, less than 10. Keep breathing, keep pushing. Oh yes, I feel those muscles yes. on fire already. There you go, change. Woo, good. Awesome job, Monica, I love it. What's next? Let's go into squat into oblique twist. So I'm gonna step to the side of my mat here, bring it down and twist, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, get set, go. Squat it down, add that oblique twist. Nice strong core and nice strong glutes, legs. Ooh, feeling amazing. Belly nice and tight, keep the weight on the heels. Yes, squat down, bring it up. Squat down, bring it up. Oh my goodness, that burning sensation, I feel it, I love it. Keep going, less than 10 seconds. 
Let's rock it out together, party people. Yes. Almost to the end. And change. Whew. We're going to do the awesome good shot. Good choppers. So in the same position, the wider part of the mat, open your legs a little wider, arms up, bend one leg, and with your arms down, you're chopping that good. Then other side. Okay, that's the work. Arms up, set, go. E Inhale when you go down, exhale when you come up. Make sure you press that heel down, the glute nice and tight when you come up. Belly tight. Keep breathing, use your breath every time you move. All right, that's the way. Halfway already. Keep your chest open. Find your tempo, move with control. Keep the quality over the quantity, always. Belly tight, compression in the abdominal wall. So close. One more, change, good job. Yay, all right, I am loving these lower body workouts. Let's go ahead and bring it down to glute bridges. Feet hip width apart, set it up, and let's go. Hips up and down, hips up and down. Belly in, nice and tight. Yes, squeeze it at the top. Make sure that you let your hips hover over the floor, never touching the floor here. Maybe about a quarter inch off your mat. You inhale down, you exhale, squeeze at the top. Up and down, hips up and down. Breathe, almost there. Five more seconds, three, two, and one, change. The next one is reverse tabletop swings. So keep the hip distance on your feet, your hands shoulder distance, reverse the tabletop position, lifting your hips up, and then swing your hips back in between your arms, flex the feet, then place your feet on the mat, head up, hips up, set, go. 45 seconds, working hard. Quality over the quantity, squeeze your glutes nice and tight. When you lift your hips, relax your head back. Nice. Feels great. I love it. With control. Find your tempo. Squeeze your glutes, press your feet, press the heels down. When you lift your hips up, keep your arms nice and strong when you swing the hips back. One more. Change. All right, well guys, love it. Let's bring it up top for some ski squats, shall we? Fit together, flex your toes up, sit the hips back and down. Here we go. Let's do it. And then tiny, tiny pulses here. Keeping the weight on the heels, belly nice and tight. Head and chest looking straight forward. Yes, moving with your hips. Woo, how I'm we feeling, sweaty. Monica? <laughs> I'm all sweaty. Me too, I love it. Feels great. That means your body is working. That means you are working. You are strong, yes. 15 seconds, let's push through. Tiny, tiny pulses. Almost to the end, you guys, keep going. One more and change. Woo. Okay, because we are here, let's hold the chair. So keep your feet together a tiny inch in between the feet. Either way, you can sit your hips back and down like you're sitting on the chair. Either press your palms together or lifting your arms up, set, go. Your arms could be in line with the ears or in line with the shoulders parallel to the floor. Or pressing your palms together, find your way. Woo. Keep your seat bones going back and down. So avoiding arching your spine too much here. Ooh, so you're oh, strengthening. Yes. Strengthening the muscles on the lower back. Can you feel it? I feel it. Can yes, you feel <laughs> your legs firing up? Oh, yes, I do. Top of the thighs, Everything your glutes. Everything feels amazing. Ooh. So good. Hold it. Less than 10 seconds. Stay strong. 
Just stop. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Ooh. Well done. Awesome one. I loved it. All right, you guys. Let's bring it back to that same plank position or side position here. And we're going to lunge to the right, bring it back, lunge to the left. Get set and go. So almost like those wood choppers, but this time we want to keep most of the focus, not only on the legs, but making sure that we look straight ahead, pushing the hips back when you lunge to the side. Belly in. Whew. Working those inner thighs, yes. Unlocking the secrets of the hips. I love it. Less than 15 seconds. Yes. Almost to the end. Few more seconds, give me one more. To the right, and change. Whew. Feet awesome. together in the middle of the mat. Here, squat with your feet together. Open to the side, come back to the center, open to the other side, that's next. To step, make sure you keep your hips very low, step, go. One side, middle, other side. Keeping the level of your hips. The lower you keep your hips, the harder you work in the leg and hip muscles. Switch the body weight to one side, middle, to other. Chest up, neutral spine, shoulders away from the ears. Stay low, stay Ooh. low, stay low. Challenge That's yourself. Great. Almost there. Keep your breath. Use your breath. To keep Ooh. you going, to keep you moving. Three, two, one, change. Awesome job. While we are right here, let's go into crab walls, Monica. Starting at the very top of your mat. We're gonna squat it down and we're going to move to the very end. Get set and go. Stay in that low squat position. You can come up higher on the knees for that extra intensity. Calm down lower, drop those hips, weight on the heels. Woo. Yes, I love it. That nice intensity on those legs. Feels awesome, feels amazing. You feel strong, you feel confident. Yes, you do. Woo. 10 seconds. Let's finish strong here. Almost to the end. For three, two, one and change. Next one is the sumo wrestler pulses. So for sumo wrestler, stay facing the long side of your mat, legs a little wider than the hips, less than plie squat, toes facing slightly out, hands in front of you on the floor, move your hips up and down, set, go. Tiny range of motion. Switch the glutes from the side to the center. Maybe your hands doesn't touch the mat. Maybe keep them a little higher, maybe on top of the thigh. Just open. Woo. They keep moving those hips. Yes. Up and down. Feel that burning sensation already, Monica. Good job, Carolina. Woo. That means this is working. Yes. All right. I am dripping in sweat, you guys. This feels great. I hope you do too. If you do this class twice a week, you will see a great difference on your legs and hips and those glutes. Getting closer to the end. 10 more seconds. Stay strong. Five, Woo. four, three, two, one. Change, oh good goodness. job. All right, you guys, last one. Let's make it count. We are going to go into squat pulses. So feet out slightly wider than the hips, toes turned out. Let's squat it down and pulse in three, two, and one. Tiny pulses to end it. I know that double pulse will always sneak up on you, but that's okay. That's when you always want to challenge yourself. Let that burning sensation feel you to the end. You are amazing, yes you are.
Look at that, more than halfway through. Woo! You can always come up higher on the knees and tiny pulses. Go, go, almost to the end. Woo! How you feeling, Monica? Oh, on fire! Yes! That's the spirit. Finish off in 10, 9, 8, 7, seven 6, six five, 5, 4, 3, three 2, two one. 1. All Woo! right. Well done. Okay. That was awesome. Let's go down to Love the floor. It. Let's do the some donkey kicks. So, all first position. Let's start with the right leg, foot pointed toes, flex, uh, no, flex the foot, give 90 degree angle, bring your leg up and down, set, go. Keep the stability on the hips, keep your core nice and strong, everything engaged, make sure you are not overarching. Keep a, a micro bend on the elbows. Keep that neutral spine. Kicking the heel up towards the ceiling. You're doing fantastic. I love this active recovery. It's a great way to just end your intense workout with something that feels good on the glutes, something that helps you for warming up those muscles, but also a little bit of glute activation at the end. Yes, let's important. change the other leg. Set, go. Yes, I agree with you. We're slowing down heart rate a little bit here, but feel that specific work on the glute. Absolutely. These are absolutely one of my favorites to do when I wake up. Not only to unlock the hips, to open up the hip flexors, but a lot of us tend to sit down all day maybe drive around all day. Those glutes are underactivated. We're waking them up. We're almost there. Very close. Stay strong. Use your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Woo. Feel great. <laughs> yes, nice work. You can add this quick class. class to your routine, regular routine, twice, three times a week, and you will see great results. Yes, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this 15 minutes of lower body killer workout. I know you are feeling it at home, so stay tuned for more videos like this, and make sure to subscribe, like, share our video, and ring the bell to stay tuned for other videos like this one. Comment down below if you like the class. See you next time. Bye-bye.